Uh, so this is list number four. Again, we're just building up, uh, building upon the stuff that we've done before. So we're adding in some extra chords. Um, we've got another single note exercise. We've kind of, div uh, like I said, developed on what we've done before, rhythmically, note-wise, and technically changing the strings. Okay, so if we go through your chords, which uh, you should have memorised from last time. Uh, so we'll start with the E minor. So that'll be your middle two fingers. Second and third fingers on string five, string four. If you strum that, it's going to be that sort of sound. Remember, it's minor, so that's a sadder sound. The next chord was A. So this was an extension of the A sus. So it's three fingers, first finger in string four, second finger in string three, and your third finger in string two, all in the same fret. It should sound like that. So it's a major chord. Okay, then we had the D chord, which is one in the triangle. So you put your first finger on string three, second finger on the high E, third finger in between. Give that a strum, it should sound like that. Okay, so the next chord we're going to introduce is G major. So we'll take your first finger now and put it on string five on the second fret. And now put your third, second finger, sorry, in the third fret. And then put your third finger, mirror image, right across to the very top, okay? Let's take your fingers completely off. Let's do that again. So start with your first finger, always one finger at a time. First finger goes there. String five, second fret. Then put your second finger on the sixth string at fret three. And then put your third finger on the high E string at fret three. Remember, look back at the screen when you're doing this. Make sure you double check you're using the right fingers. It gets quite confusing when I'm saying string five, fret three, fret two, etc. Okay, so just one last time. First finger, string five, one, two, three, four, five, second fret. Cross the bottom string with your second finger, third finger at the top. Good thing to do is take your fingers completely off. Have a look at your hand and then take your fingers completely off and just try and find that shape again. Ultimately, you want to be dropping your fingers down at the same time. As a beginner, it will be like this for quite some time. One finger at a time. But then, if you can even just sit and practice just dropping your fingers down at the one time, this is what you'll ultimately be doing. That could be something you could practice, maybe if you don't want to disturb someone, maybe it's late at night, someone's watching the television. But it's just finger placement like that. As well as making sure you can see the chord in your head, that you know what the chord is, and you're not staring at a piece of paper. So try and memorise these. And like before, just practice strum. And if you do this within a matter of a couple of weeks, just through sheer repetition, you'll be able to play those chords. In the next lesson, we're going to be introducing a, a song Okay, so then we'll start using these. Just now we're go just going to use like a, a practice pattern. But this time we're going to introduce some strumming into the practice.